This is what I live for, guys. The hunt, the chase. I'm always hungry, never satisfied, always chasing more canceled cars and prototypes, even though there are times when I'm like, dang, there's like nothing else out there right now. It's really dry. The stuff I don't have is Omega Giga Rare. There's like no chance in my lifetime I'll be able to get it. But you gotta keep after it because it pays off. The chase is to me the most fun thing about the cars hobby. And coincidentally today we are reviewing Chase Chassis, this Nigel Gearsley fan from Cars 2. Couldn't be more excited to bring you guys another canceled car Tuesday taking place of the Turbo Tuesday talk show just for a week. Hopefully it'll be back next week. But yeah, that series and Canceled Car Tuesday will kind of, you know, mix and match a little bit here and there. But yeah, guys, I was able to acquire this through a trade with a good friend of mine. Shout out to him. He named him Chase Chassis. And so I am honoring that. You know who you are. You're the best. Love you. And let's get right into the review. All right, so this guy appears in a very obscure location in Cars 2. It actually took a couple years for us fans and collectors to discover where in the actual heck does he appear in Cars 2. I remember I couldn't find him. I think it was Collection TV who actually ended up discovering him in this scene after the first race in the World Grand Prix. So that's Tokyo and Daryl Cartrip is interviewing Francesco Bernoulli. They're on the podium because Francesco won, McQueen was second, and Carlo Veloso was third. Now we knew that this seven pack, which is what Chase was going to be released in, you know, it was going to be a Target exclusive because it was listed on their website. And we knew all of the contents. You know, you had Lightning McQueen, you had Francesco Bernoulli, Carlo Veloso, Daryl Cartrip, and these two canceled reporters, this Fiat here and this BMW, which were actually, is this a Peugeot? I'm not really sure. You guys know I always screw up the names of those cars. You guys know that. But anyway, this was the seven pack right here. These two were obviously also never released, but they are a little easier to obtain within the canceled car realm than Chase is. This is literally the only one in the world that has been reported of leaking out of the Chinese factories. You see how I combined the word leak and link there. It just automatically happens. But anyways, because we knew that was the seven pack, especially with these four characters, we should have known exactly where he appeared in the movie. But for whatever reason, I don't know why we were silly and looked everywhere except that. But yeah, there he actually is. He's off to the side there. 100% him. There's no stretching here. That is a pink Scion XB with a Nigel Gearsley hat souvenir. This is the only Nigel Gearsley fan that Mattel has either released or intended to release. For whatever reason, Mattel was very conservative with the fans they released. They did like several Lightning McQueen fans. Francesco Bernoulli, Jeff Corvette fan, two Carlo Veloso fans, a shoot to the Roki fan. They never kind of inched their way out to like Rip Clutch Gineski and Nigel Gearsley and kind of the more obscure racers. They kept, you know, very conservative with their picks there. But what they weren't conservative about is where they took the fans from the movie. Like this guy appears in such a weird spot, and yet. You'd think that they'd release the fans that appear like front and center. Like in Porta Corsa, right before the race starts, they do like a little pan right up the stands. And you could see a bunch of them in you know super high quality and they're right there. You know, hello, look at me. And yet they only did like two of those from that scene. You'd think that they would have just kept on cherry picking from that one spot instead of going all over the movie and end up releasing some that we still don't know where they appeared. And maybe they didn't appear at all. I think... Frank Lachensen is one of those. I don't think we've ever seen him, but it's possible. I don't really remember. I think Ronnie Del Cooper actually never appeared. He's the one, actually. I don't remember. There's a couple of them. But anyways, Mr. Chassis here did indeed appear. Now, like I said, he's a Cyan XB, and there are quite a few of them, actually, that Mattel has released. And Mattel canceled two, actually. So we will get into all of that momentarily here. But let's just focus on the canceled car himself. I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. We just launched right into the video, but that's just because I'm so excited to have this guy. Again, no one ever thought this one leaked out. You know, we knew that the cameramen were out there. There were quite a few of them on eBay over the last five years now. It's dried up entirely as of now, but they were on eBay from China. 
for whatever reason, even though he was in the same pack as them, Chase never leaked on the eBay. Only one of them was known to be found by somebody in China who I don't know how he acquired it, but either way, he acquired it, sent it to my friend. My friend made a trade with me. You guys always ask me that, so I wanted to provide all the details. But anyways, he's got a super nice, happy expression right here. And again, I love that they did a pink car, or at least they were going to, because it's such a, you know, kind of underrated color. It doesn't get much love, not much attention. There's only a handful in the cars universe, so it's great to see something different. It's very eye-catching to me. But anyways, you can see his grill right there, headlights, a couple little lights down on his bumper as well now i'm not entirely sure i think his rims were supposed to be colored so this is like a prototype that's why the rims are just black along with the tires but i think they were supposed to be silver now here's the base if you're interested no date stamp obviously but you do have the product code and made in china mattel and all that good stuff he's on the best of condition but i'm not going to complain there's literally like only one of these in the world that we know of now taking a look here at his little hat, again, not in the best condition, but I'm not going to toy around with it much, but it looks awesome. Of course, it's a little plastic piece that connects into the metal body right there, and it has a Nigel Gearsley decal sticker on top there. Really cool. They've done quite a few of these now, and unfortunately, two of the ones that they were going to release with this style souvenir were also canceled, and that is this Raul Cerule fan, a green BMW, and this... Max Schnell fan Mini Cooper here. Look at that. Look, I finally have the trio. This is screenshot worthy if I could only center them a little bit. This is awesome. I'm so happy to have these guys. They are iconic. That is screenshot worthy right there. But anyways, these two were supposed to be exclusives in Target 4 pack. So you had like a Max Schnell pack. You had a Raul Cerule pack. And then you had this pack that actually had three new cars, which is maybe why Mattel canceled it. They're like, heck no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're not putting three new cars in a seven pack. That's not how we do it. Heck, we barely even put one new car in a seven pack. Usually we put a new accessory in a 10 pack. I mean, that's just how we roll here. I don't know. Whatever new employee was working that day and, you know, thought of doing this. I don't know where they were coming from. I don't know how they even got hired. But, anyways, back to the car. Carney Carsper, you guys know, has a similar hat to that and he was just released this past year his license plate is 03-50 and you can see some japanese characters above it along with the uh, number 300 i can't read japanese unfortunately i wish i could there have been a lot of videos that i've been recording lately in which knowing japanese would be very very helpful i did a tomika video again i don't know when this video will come out i don't know when that video will come out so i can't really speak for that because i'm pre-recording them all but yeah i mean when i'm looking at the tomika boxes I wish I could read Japanese. It would really, really help. But anyways, here's the moment of truth. We're going to be able to find out if Mr. Chase has a unique license plate across the Cyan XB. So here we have Karateka and yeah, that passes. You have the Japanese character. Even the Japanese characters are different. And that other number, 5140344. Let's see, by the way, why we have him. They have the same mouth. No, Karatek has a longer mouth. Entirely different expression. All right. Obviously, Officer Murakami has a different mouth because he's all disgruntled. This was the first Cyan XB that Mattel ever released way back in 2012. And he doesn't have a license plate at all. All right. Easy enough. Now, the only other Cyan XB that Mattel released, I believe, I tend to get a little squirrely about this and sometimes I forget one but I'm pretty sure there were only three and you have Vic Vanley here now their expression is a little more similar but it's still different but definitely more similar like if you were to lower those eyelids you would almost get that and the eyes are the same color but the models are different all right let's see here this is the moment of truth I'm not super confident oh yeah let's go that's exciting that's super exciting. 0309. So all three of them have different license plates. And now I do have another canceled Cyan XB, believe it or not. You guys might remember Officer Yamamoto from last year in a canceled Car Tuesday episode. 
and he is also a World Grand Prix security guard. Well, he's also a security guard. Officer Murakami was a security guard at the airport. And yeah, I didn't think he would have a license plate, but I wanted to bring him out to show you guys. So yeah, cool stuff. Those are all your other Cyan XBs, and they all have like the same style rim, but they're all painted silver there, as you can see. So I would have assumed that they would have done the same thing with Chase here. But they all have slightly different features, like headlights. You know, instead of those being silver, they're black. And actually, the funniest thing about all of these Cyan XBs is that they're all different molds. Like, they're all slightly different castings, because this guy needs a slight hole for his hat. Vic Vanley doesn't need anything. Karateka needs something for his bandana to hook into. And then the security guards needed something for the light bar. So, pretty neat, pretty neat. And that is pretty much it for Mr. Chase Chassis himself here. I'm calling him Mr. because I just feel so honored to be in his presence. And yeah, we'll pull up Nigel Gearsley. He's going to take a picture with his fan here real quick. Pretty excited to be chilling with him, I bet. Austin Littleton as well. His crew chief's going to get in on the action. But yeah, might as well show you guys this. So this is what they're going for here. That number nine logo is then translated to the hat. Cool stuff. And before we end off the video, I wanted to show you guys the other World Grand Prix race fans that have this same style hat. Over on the left, Carney Carsper, the first one that had this way back in 2014. And he is obviously a Lightning McQueen fan. World Grand Prix. His is a little different because it actually has the World Grand Prix text up there as well. Then the second one and the only other one that Mattel officially released was Bob Motor here. Bob Motor was also in technically a Target exclusive four pack, but because this was right at the end of it, like Bob Motor was literally the last pack that made the United States supposed to go to Target, but ended up at like Ross stores because Targets didn't want to buy them. Targets were like, yeah, those things will never sell. So Ross, you can have them. Now this guy here is a custom of course I reviewed him in the 12 days of Christmas ever at Maserati he's a Max Schnell fan of course and I already showed you guys the other ones so yeah just to give you a brief history of the Target multi-pack collapse in 2015 they were going to do the Bob Motor Packer it was like late 2014 actually late 2014 they wanted to do Bob Motor into 2015 obviously didn't happen, ended up at Ross stores. The last pack that actually squeaked out was the Max Sakar 4 pack under 2015 packaging. Now him was not even lucky enough to make it to Ross stores in the United States. He only made it to CERN stores in Europe, making him one of the rarest cars to be released in recent history. And then the other two four packs that included you know, that Mini Cooper fan I showed you and the BMW fan were canceled and, you know, they were later down the pipeline so they didn't even make it out. And even further down the pipeline was the seven pack with this pink Nigel Gearsley fan and the other cameraman. So that is the history basically depicting the collapse of Target multi-packs. It's really kind of sad because, you know, even though you would have to buy more than you wanted to to get the new car, I personally always enjoyed them because they were much easier to find than the singles themselves like for whatever reason multi-packs were just much easier to find i think it's because like they were exclusive to the store and so it was a higher chance that you know the store would actually receive them and so yeah you know big fan of that and it's kind of sad to see them go to the wayside but either way very very grateful to have these in my collection and thank you guys so much for watching another episode of canceled car tuesday i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon for another one Bye now.